Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Bailey and I'm the owner of Goo Goo Goods. Today's video is going to be another kind of craft fair prep vlog. I have two craft fairs this week. Today is Monday and I have one tomorrow, Tuesday at Rollins College. So that's kind of a random one, but I'm very interested to see how it turns out. It was kind of a pricey one. I think it was around 115, but it's also kind of a weird one because I don't remember exactly how long it is, but they basically said there are a couple of stretches of time where people are going from class to class where there's a lot of traffic and then there's like no traffic. So they expect big bursts of people and then no one, it's, it's, I'm very intrigued to see how it goes because with that price point, obviously I'm going to expect a lot of traffic. So hopefully that works out. I'm very, very interested to see how that goes. And it's the first day of spring tomorrow. So hopefully, well, actually what's kind of funny, tomorrow's the first day of spring, but it's going to be the coldest day this week. I think the high is only like 66, which is really, really weird because it's usually hot and it's like kind of hot today and it's going to be hot the day after. So that's kind of funny, but I have that that I'm going to be doing. And then I have the whimsy Easter market on Saturday. And that one's kind of funny because they changed the time of that to start at 9 a.m. So I'm going to have to be there around like 7, 7.30 to set up and it's about an hour away. So that's going to be a super early morning for me. But you'll probably have already watched my, um, my market video for Rollins because I'll have posted that last week. Because I'm going to go tomorrow and film and go ahead and try to get that edited so that it can be out on Thursday. So that would have been last Thursday. So that is what I've got going on this week. So basically what I'm going to be doing today is finishing the keychains because I went ahead and if you watched last week's studio vlog, I E6000 of these and I let them dry. So all I have left to do for those is clamp them shut together. And I got something in the mail from Amazon that I ordered for how I'm going to display those. So I'll show you that in a second. I thought it wasn't going to be here until tomorrow after my market so i'm glad that it got here yesterday so i can set it up and see how it goes but the other thing that i'm going to be working on this week besides the keychains is if you watched last week's studio vlog i finished my little pouch that i was working on um i got the right type of zippers so i was able to sew over them so this is my prototype i definitely thought it was going to be a little bit bigger than this so today um, I actually am going to work on quilting a bigger size of this um, and kind of like a different way of constructing it so I'm gonna try to work on a bigger ones I ordered I ordered bigger zippers because these are 10 inch zippers but for the new size I'm trying out I needed 15 inch or something so I ordered some 16 inch um, on Amazon so those should be here tomorrow so I'm gonna work on cutting out some new fabric to do a test of a bigger one of this but I do like this size but I definitely thought it was gonna be bigger so I'm also going to I'll probably make a couple this size but I also want to test making some bigger ones so I'll quilt that but yeah I finished this let me unzip it and show you the inside of it so it's got my lining in there and I think that that turned out super duper cute it was a little bit tricky but it was a good test for sure i think i also want to try doing my quilting my stitch length a little bit longer so i like that i think that's cute so i'm going to work on the keychains and then i'm also going to work on showing you actually before i work on the keychains i might show you the display for the keychains so yeah i've kind of rambled a little bit so i'm going to go ahead and just show you the keychain display thing that i got Okay, so here it is, and I am really excited. I think this is going to work out really good. I think the only thing that might be a little bit negative about it, honestly, hmm, I'm wondering if it's gonna be okay. It's got a little bit of a hole there. The only thing that I'm slightly nervous about is that potentially it might be so big that it might have some empty spaces in it that it might look kind of weird because it's not super full. So I'll definitely be working on making some more keychains to help kind of fill it up. But I may be able to not fully put it together to make it its full size to help with that, but I want it to be full. So I know that's a lot of talking considering I'm not even like really said what it is, but it's this little tower. It's called the Retail Display Sand. Let's put it together and see. But I saw this and I was like, what? 
I thought this was such a good idea. Okay, so these. That was a loud town. It comes on wheels, but I don't know if I want to make it be a wheeled object. Okay, let's see here. There is the base. It doesn't appear to come with any directions, but it may just be kind of like self-explanatory, I guess. That box is not super together. Okay, I guess I'll go ahead and put the wheels on and kind of see. The issue I have with the wheels is that I don't want it to roll away. But, I guess the wheels have locks. Yeah, the wheels have locks. I'll probably always use the wheels when I'm using this if I want it to be a standalone display, but you can also leave the wheels off and put it on your table. But Amazon also has shorter ones if you prefer that, but I like the height of this one and how I can have the different tiers. So I'll probably always use it as a standalone, but I don't know, maybe I'll put it on my table in the future. Who knows? So there it is put together with just four of them. It comes with eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It comes with seven of these little dealies, but look at that. So it spins. So I can take one of these. And so the idea is like, like I'm thinking small, medium, large, and then like the wider ones maybe down here. But I thought that was a good idea. Obviously I think there might be a different way on how you're supposed to screw this together, but as like a rough draft of it, I think that that's gonna work out super good. Cause I can put all the same sizes of the same pattern on one and you can be like, doo -doo 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 -doo. but I think that's gonna work out super good. Okay, I love that and it's definitely super portable. Okay, so that is the end of that. So basically what I'm going to do now finish closing these up and get to quilting some new fabric for the bigger one that I'm gonna make. If only I could finish something Run straight through to the end Close a chapter dignified Dang girl you did it that I had an even feed foot that came with the bundle from Amazon when I got my machine and I saw online that it was supposed to be useful for quilting so I decided to use it but the only downside is that I couldn't use the quilting guide bar or at least I don't think I can and when I was looking up how to install it the videos that I saw their foot looked slightly different so hopefully mine's fine so I just decided to mark the fabric where I wanted to quilt it but for some reason with this fabric my marker was disappearing almost immediately. I got both pieces for my new test bag quilted and I'm really happy with how they turned out. I'm really glad I put the even feed foot on. I don't think it's working exactly like how I think it's supposed to work. Um, I'm not sure but it worked pretty good so I really like how that turned out but I probably talked about this in the voiceover I was doing. I was having this weird thing and I've never had it happen before, but my pin was disappearing almost immediately from this fabric. So 
that was a little bit weird i've never experienced that but definitely i think adding the even fee foot made it a lot easier to keep my fabric straight and go all the way through so i'm really pleased with that so yeah whenever i quilt i'll probably use that the only issue is that i can't use the little guide bar which is fine i'll just mark it i did try this on the last one this little thing i don't remember what it's called but i used this to mark it i don't think it's supposed to actually cut it i think it's just supposed to mark it a little bit but it is a little bit sharp so i was a little bit nervous about that but i think that did good i just couldn't see it as well as i could see obviously a marker so i don't know if maybe it's just this fabric or not I'm not quite sure, but I think what I'm going to do now, because nap time is probably almost over, I might go ahead and just cut the extra thread off of this because I don't have my zippers for this. Um, I'm going to have those tomorrow. So I'll go ahead and cut off my extra thread and maybe go ahead and iron it a little bit. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to do right now. And I'll probably either check in later today or you'll see me Wednesday because I've got my market tomorrow. Yeah. So you'll either see me tonight or Wednesday. Actually, before I check out today, I wanted to pack this order for Brittany. She got one of our grade B breakfast with baby diaper bag. So I'm going to pack this real quick. And I've got my packing slip and my thank you card. So I'm going to slip that in the bag and go ahead and get her all zippered up. I'm try to get all the hair out of that. And I don't know how she found me. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a be sure to check us out on YouTube sticker. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in my big U-line bag and try to get this out the door as soon as possible so she can get it. Like I always say, putting the backpacks in these bags are the perfect size, but that makes them a little bit tricky. Kind of ripped it a little bit there, but we're gonna still be taking down. I'm just gonna put my address label on and then she is good to go and out the door happy wednesday so yesterday was the rollins college market and i already posted a video on that but it did not go super great it did not go as i thought it was gonna go so that's a little bit not great but today i'm going to be working on the new big pouch i have my pieces quilted already you saw that and then i have my new big zippers so that's what i'm going to work on the pattern i'm following is from a youtube video and i'm a little bit confused because the measurements that she put like in the video are different from the measurements she put in the description box so hopefully this is right if this is not the right size i'm sure it's going to be fine um i'll just like tinker and maybe have to make another test one but yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start sewing this and hope it works out. that turned out i don't know if maybe i need to get some more like heavy duty batting or something because i mean my batting is like pretty thick but this is like pretty like loosey goosey and like kind of light but it is so stinking cute i mean it definitely would serve its purpose as a makeup bag or just like a little toiletry bag but i think that is so adorable and then so you unzip it and you've got your lining 
I think that is so stinking cute. The tutorial I followed was a little bit tricky because she didn't really like give the measurements like that good or instructions really that good, but I am very, very pleased with how this turned out. So I definitely think I can make some more of these. Um, I might go ahead and cut out some of my fabric of my new fabric and start quilting it. I think that's gonna be such a good thing for me to try to work on and get done, but I I love that. I might run out of batting, I'm not sure, but I think this is going to be what I'm gonna work on this week maybe. I think that's so stinking cute. But yeah, that is what I got going on, and this is kind of like what I thought the other bag that I made, like this bag, I kind of thought it'd be more like this size, so yeah. So I'm very, very pleased with how that turned out. I don't know if maybe I should get this one type of, I don't know if it's batting, but it's like a thing that you put in that's more rigid, that'll give it kind of a more rigid rigid shape, but I don't know if I wanna get that or if I like it fluffy like that. So I think I might just go ahead and get to cutting out the fabric that I need to make more of these. back at the sewing studio in Maitland to pick up some fusible fleece and also a few more um, designs of fabric to make some more keychains so that I can fill up my keychain rack. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to go in and see what I can find. I'm going to try to get like maybe three or four patterns that are all kind of in the same color family and kind of do like one collection if that makes sense. So I'm going to go in and see what we can get. Here were some of the options that they had for interfacing and batting and everything like that. So this is the fusible fleece that I ended up going with. And after I did this, I was drawn back to the wall that had all the rifle paper co-designs. I really just could not help it. So I was trying to find a couple of designs that went together and I was definitely drawn to these pink ones. So I picked out a couple of those and a couple of different ones too fabric secured so once again I really had to reel it in but something I struggle with is finding patterns that the pattern is like small enough because I'm looking for stuff specifically for keychains right now but I did pick out some things not for keychains but it's hard to find ones with designs that are small enough that they'll come through on a keychain if that makes sense but I got some of the fusible fleece and then these are the patterns I got I kind of only really got like two for keychains and the rest are for the little bags that I'm making. But here they are. So the first one for keychain is this cute little lemon one. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, oh, I should have gotten it longer because of the directionality. Okay, that's actually really annoying. I guess I'll have to use this one for a bag and not a keychain. That's actually really annoying. And then kind of the same for, for this one. Oh gosh, I'm so, so dumb. Yeah, so actually the, those were kind of a waste. So I actually didn't get any for keychains now that I'm looking at it because those are the two that I got for keychains. Okay, so I may have to like go back in. I'll have to think about what I'm gonna do, oh my gosh. But then I got this one for a bag. And then I got this one for a bag. And then this one for a bag. Okay, so this is one that I got for for keychains, so this is gonna be one that I can use, but look how stinking cute that is. Oh, but I'm so frustrated. I just got like a quarter yard because I was like, oh, like you know, like I don't want to make like too many keychains, so I just got like a quarter yard, but dang it, that's so annoying. So 
I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't really wanna go back in. I'm a little bit embarrassed about that. So I guess I'll just make keychains with this and maybe later this week go back here or maybe go to Joann's or Hobby Lobby to see if I can find some other ones. But uh, uh, I can't believe that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go home, I guess, but that is very frustrating. Happy Thursday. So today I'm going to be doing kind of pretty much the same thing that I've been doing all this week, but I am going to test out using the fusible fleece and I'm going to try to get done with making one of the bags today so that I can compare the fusible fleece to just the normal batting. So yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to do. And if I'm able to kind of get that done, I do have some keychains that are already done that I finished last week, but I was waiting for the hardware to come in. So my hardware has come in so I can go ahead and finish those. But I think what I'm going to do today, definitely starting out with, is going ahead and trying to get started on one of the bags. I'm probably going to use the mushroom as my example one with the fusible fleece since I already have that cut out. So yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get to quilting this with the fusible fleece. I definitely think that using the fusible fleece was better than using just the batting for this one because I don't really know if you can tell but it is like slightly more firm it's not like so much more firm that it's like stiff but it's more firm that it doesn't just like crumple in your hand but I did like how this one turned out but yeah this one is just a little bit more stable a little more firm but a couple things that I learned from doing this one in the pattern that I follow she like tells you to do a couple things where you stop sewing like an inch from the sides 
and I don't think that that is actually the way to go because some of these seams like don't go all the way down if that makes sense like for the top stitching she says to stop but it didn't go like all the way down and also like something that I learned is that I'm really bad at top stitching so I worked on that a little bit with this one and tested out doing it with a stitch length of two and a stitch length of three and I definitely prefer the three stitch length it's kind of funny because I feel like the two and the three are not that much different but three and the four are pretty different in terms of length so that's kind of funny but I do really enjoy how this one turned out compared to this one this one obviously is still super cute and still like perfect but I do think that using the fusible fleece is going to be the way to go for this and definitely this one was easier to make because I you know have made it once before but I think what I'm going to do for the rest of nap time today is go ahead and start prepping some more of the keychains with that fabric that I bought yesterday so I think that is what I'm going to work on for the rest of today. So just go ahead and get to cutting and getting my, um, what's it called? My fusible interfacing put on and hopefully I'll have everything ready so I can either sew it tonight or tomorrow. So I'm just gonna get to it. ended up finishing doing the sewing and the mod podging of the new keychains and the new design and I think that those turned out so cute I love that I definitely think I prefer like the thicker like the 1.25 uh, inch but this is really cute too I just like the bigger one just because you can see more of the really pretty rifle paper co print so I've got to work on getting the hardware ready for that so I did what was suggested to me and took the ring off the hardware so i took those apart so it's supposed to be easier to clamp this on so i have a couple of leftover keychains from the first round that i need to put the hardware on so i'm going to do those yeah so i'm going to work on that real quick and once i've got a couple of them drying i'm going to pack an etsy order that i have and once i am done with all of that I might just get into some more of cutting the fabric for the pouches and try to do another test pouch, but do the test pouch with a slightly different measurement of the lining. I think so I'm gonna do a different measurement of the lining and see if that changes something and then maybe like try to tweak a little bit of the sewing measurements. So that is what I'm going to work on today. I actually have the car already packed for the market tomorrow because it is a super duper early market so after i'm done with these i will just have to add them to the car and take them tomorrow and tomorrow is a really really early market so i gotta get prepared for that so i need to go ahead and get all of my batteries charged and get my bag packed for tomorrow so i'm just gonna go ahead and try to start knocking this out
while these keychains are drying with the E6000, I'm gonna go ahead and pack this order for Catherine. So Catherine got the Breakfast with Baby backpack and I'm gonna put in my thank you card and my packing slip. And because this was an Etsy order, I don't know if she found me just like through Etsy or if she found me from YouTube. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my Your Order Was Packed on YouTube sticker. Go ahead and put that guy on there so she knows where to find me. I'll just go ahead and get packed up. This week was a big week for the breakfast bag. I sold a couple of these at the market and a couple online and I was not expecting it. Perfect. Tuck that in there. A little airy. I'll put my shipping label on. And then that's all good to go. Since I got that order packed and I'm still waiting on these to finish drying, I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of this fabric that I made a tote bag with a long time ago. So this is just extra fabric. I'm going to cut this and start quilting this plus some other things to make another test bag to test the um, measurements that I'm gonna try. And I also got this on Amazon to help with marking so I can see it better when I quilt. It's called a Hera marker. And I hope it's like, I hope it works good. Cause I mean like basically you just like run it over the fabric and it creases it. So I'm gonna try to use this and see if this works out better than the marker. Um, because I mean the marker works fine, but just sometimes on like darker colored fabrics, it's hard for me to see it when my uh, machine is running. So I'm gonna see if this works a little bit better. It was only like nine bucks on Amazon. So if it does work out, it's definitely a good investment, but it looks like this. It's like a little spatula thing and it literally just like folds it. So I'm gonna try this and see if that works a little bit better. This side is really sharp. So I'll have to read why this side is really sharp, but I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting this and cutting the fusible fleece and sewing them. Here is the final bag and I think it turned out really cute. I used different measurements for sewing it closed and that made it a little bit bigger than the previous one. So maybe I can make these in a small, medium slash large setup. I definitely liked the fusible fleece for this, but I'm also going to try next week some sew-in foam and see how that changes the shape. But overall, I think that was pretty good. Worked out pretty awesome.
starting to come to an end right now and the last thing I really need to do for these keychains is just to put the little key hooks back on them so I'm gonna try to get that done as quickly as possible but I'm going to end the vlog here for today because tonight I'm probably just going to relax and gear up for tomorrow by packing my you know, my go bag and just kind of hanging out and gearing up mentally for tomorrow too so I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more behind the scenes small business content and craft fair vlogs and the next time you see me I'll be bending at whimsy Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye! My head space, a week or it's been waiting for the right day. Like the right day ever comes, now it's Friday. And nothing's changed. Mistake.